Hello and welcome. In this video, we are discussing two port network and from this two port network, we are discussing Z parameters. It is also called as a open circuit impedance parameter. First, we will understand what is two port network and why we are going for two port network. Analysis of electrical network is the main task and analysis of electrical network becomes easy if it is represented with an equivalent model which gives us relation between input and output variable. And for this we can use two port network representation. So different network we can represent as a two port network. This is the generalized form. This is a network and why we call it as a two port. This is an input port and this is an output port. So this two port network has four variables V1, I1, input voltage, input current, V2, I2, output voltage, output current. Now we want to develop relation between this input variables and output variables. We have four different variables out of which we can choose two variables as an independent variable and other two variables as a dependent variable means any two variable we are representing as a it depends upon remaining two variable. So we will get six different pairs of such equations and these equation represent the dependent variable in terms of independent variable. And the coefficient of this independent variable are called as a parameter. So each pair of equation you will get different parameters. Let's understand what is this exactly mean. We want to express two variables as a dependent and two variables as a independent and this pair of equation will give us four parameters. So first parameter type is Z parameter or it is also called as a open circuit impedance parameter. Now for this Z parameter we have four variables V1, I1, V2, I2. Input voltage, input current, output voltage, output current. Now for Z parameter we are expressing V1 and V2 as a dependent and I1 and I2 as a independent. Means V1 and V2 we are getting from I1 and I2. So I1 and I2 are independent means we are expressing V1 and V2 as a function of I1, I2. That is V1 and V2 value depends upon I1 and I2. So the equations are first we will express V1 as a function of I1 and I2. So V1 is equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2 and this Z11 and Z12 are coefficient of this independent variable and this is nothing but parameters, Z parameters. Similarly, V2 we are expressing as a function of I1, I2. So, V2 is equal to Z21, I1 plus Z22, I2. Where this Z11, Z12, Z21, Z22 are coefficient of this independent variable I1 and I2 and these are called as a Z parameter or open circuit parameter. We can express these two equations in terms of matrix also. So in a matrix form V1, V2 is equal to Z parameter matrix, 4 Z parameters you will get and this is I1, I2. So V1 and V2 are dependent variable and its value depend upon I1, I2. So here I1, I2 are independent, its value not depend upon V1 and V2 but V1 and V2 are expressed as a in terms of I1, I2. So this is matrix form. Now, we want to find each Z parameter individually. Now, how to find this? First, case 1, when output port is open circuited. Open circuit means current is 0. So, output port means output current should be 0. That is, I2 is equal to 0. Now, let's see. Why I2 we want to make 0? These are our standard Z parameter equation. V1 and V2 are expressed as a function of I1 and I2. 
and to calculate the Z11, Z21, Z12, Z22 individually, we have to use this equation. Suppose I want to find Z11. So Z11, this term should be 0. How we can make this term 0? By making I2 0. So I2 0 means output current 0. Output current 0 means current is 0. When it is 0? When it is open circuited. That's why the name is open circuit impedance parameter. So Z11 we will get by making I2 0. And from equation 2, when I2 is 0, we will get Z21. So Z11 and Z21 we will get when I2 is 0. So Z11 is equal to V1 upon I1 when I2 this term is 0. Similarly, Z21 is equal to V2 upon I1 when this term is 0 means I2 is 0. So Z21 is V2 upon I1. Now we know that impedance means what? It is a ratio of voltage and current. Now Z11 here V1 upon I1. Now this both the variables are from the same port. So it is called as a driving point impedance. When variables are from the same port, it is called a driving point and it is ratio of voltage and current. That's why impedance, driving point impedance. Now with Output port open circuited means what I2 is equal to 0. So name of Z11 is driving point impedance with output port open circuited or we can call it as a open circuit input impedance. Why input? It is a ratio of V1 and I1. That's why input port. Both the variables are from the input port. Now in this case Z21 it is a ratio of voltage and current but Voltage and current ratio means it is impedance, but one variable is from output port and other variable is from input port. That's why the name of this Z21 is transfer impedance with output port open circuited. Output port open circuited means I20. Transfer means one variable from one port, another variable from another port. Impedance means ratio of voltage and current. So transfer impedance with output port open circuited or it is also called as a open circuit forward transfer impedance. Why forward? Output upon input ratio. That's why forward. Transfer one variable from one port, another variable from another port. And why open circuit? I2 is equal to 0. So by making I2 is equal to 0, that is output port open circuited, we got two Z parameters, Z11 and Z21. Similarly, to find Z12 and Z22, these terms should be 0. So, to make these terms 0, I1 should be 0. That is, input port should be open circuited. And that is our case 2. Case 2 is input port open circuited. That means, I1 is equal to 0. So, from these two equations, when I1 is equal to 0, you can find Z12, Z12 ratio of V1 upon I2 when I1 is 0. That is input port is open circuited. Now see here it is a ratio of voltage and current. That's why it is impedance. But one variable from one port, another variable from another port. That's why it is transfer. And it is ratio of input variable upon output. Then it is reverse. That's why Z12 is transfer impedance with input port open circuited. It is also called as a open circuit. I1 is equal to 0. That's why open circuit. Reverse ratio of input variable upon output variable. When it is forward, when output variable upon input variable. But it is input variable upon output. That's why reverse. And why transfer? Because both the variables are from different port. If both the variables are from same port, you can consider it as a driving point. Okay. So, open circuit reverse transfer impedance. Similarly, Z22, see ratio of voltage and current, that's why impedance. Both the variables are from the same port, that's why driving point. See, 
Z22 is driving point impedance with input port open circuited. It is also called as a open circuit output impedance. Why output? Because both the variables are from the same port and it is output port. So these are the Z parameters and how to find the Z parameter? By open circuiting output port and input port. That's why the name of Z parameter is open circuit impedance parameter. Thank you.